This is a guide for World of Chell's One's Eliminator Tournament mode. Winning a tournament unlocks the bronze trophy, the Eliminator. Winning a tournament requires you to win four straight ones games, so here are some tips to do so. In order to be successful in one's eliminator, you'll need a few reliable scoring methods. Firstly, on breakaways. I recommend quickly deking from the backhand to the forehand then shooting. You can pull this move off with little space and or time. Again, here it is in slow motion with left-handed players. And the same move with a right-handed player. The breakaway is the best opportunity to score in ones, so if you get one, you need to make the most of it. Mastering this move will help you do that. The next best way to score is to snipe it. To do so reliably, cut across the goalie's body and shoot on the far side. Here it is done cutting right to left with a left-handed player, and here you see a right-handed player cutting from the left side to the right side. You can pretty much eliminate the slap shot from your arsenal when playing ones, there just isn't enough time or space to get it off. Stick to the wrist shot, and like I said, cut across the goalie's body. The last way to reliably score is the wraparound. It's usually not open because defenders cover it well, but if you get a chance, it's a great way to score. You can pull it off from the forehand, and also the backhand. Now to score with any of these moves, you'll need possession of the puck. And one of the best tips I can give for getting possession of the puck is to immediately pursue the puck after dead spawns. What I mean by that is after someone scores, the beginning of the game, the goalie covers it up, the puck goes out of bounds, immediately start hunting the puck. Let's take a look at an example. Here the green player scores. Immediately after me, the blue player, I pursue the puck and I'm able to get a free breakaway. Same thing, no celebrations, straight back to the middle, and I follow the spawn. As a result, I get the puck, more possession, and I get a chance to pull off a move. In this case, it's the breakaway move. Again, immediately chase the puck right onto my stick. You won't always get this lucky, but the idea still holds. Chase the puck, be relentless. When it comes to defending, I'd refrain from going for big hits. As you can see from this footage, usually the player who goes for the big hit just surrenders the puck to the other player who's not involved in the hit. This isn't really a winning strategy. However, if you do see a player who's hunting for the big hits, Use that to your advantage. Stay out of the puck chases and just wait and clean up the garbage when both of them collapse to the ice. When it comes to playing defense, just stick to stick checking. Stick lifts and poke checks are both reliable ways to defend, and given that there's no penalties on one's eliminator, it's a good bet. One of the most important things you need to do is be aware of the score. In this situation, both me, the blue player, and the red player trail green by one goal. Recognizing one of us has a score to send this to overtime, Red player gives me a clear lane while obstructing green. By not letting the game end, it pays dividends for red player. He scores twice in overtime and secures the win. Here's another example of score awareness. I'm up by one goal over the red player. Blue player is behind by three goals. I recognize blue is not going to score and catch up, so I just spend all my energy harassing the red player. This eliminates any chance of red sending it to overtime and helps me secure the win. Another strategy for if you're winning and it's late in the game, just hold on to the puck, waste some time, skate around, don't give possession to whoever's in second. Then there's the element of luck. Sometimes you get lucky and you play with players who are AFK, or who straight out quit. You're just as likely to get unlucky though. Check out green here, pass it straight to red for the win. Nothing I can do about that. Customize your loadout to match your strengths. For this footage I've been capturing, I've been using this loadout. I like the power forward because that way you can't get knocked off the puck as easily. Hopefully this guide has been useful and helps you win a 1's Eliminator tournament. Thanks for watching.